Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss about the conveyor belt and its functions. So before moving on, let us understand what do you mean by a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt is a material handling equipment that is used to transfer material from one place to another. So let me walk you all through a series of videos where I will show you different parts of conveyor belt and its functions. So let's get started. So here you see a bearing housing which is used to support the bearing and shaft. This housing keeps contamination away like dust particles entering into the bearing which will result in the bearing failure. So here you see a tail drum which is also called a tail pulley. A tail drum is contained within the belt and helps it to rotate freely around the end of the conveyor. So this is the part from where the belt tends to rotate back to its driving side. Now here you can see a lagging. A lagging is wrapped around the tail drum whose function is to increase the grip between the belt and the tail drum while conveying the material. Next part is called a proxy. A proxy is used for safety measures during the operation of a belt conveyor. That is, if a belt conveyor stops by some means, this proxy tells a controller that the belt has been stopped in the side during the operation. Next part is called an impact idler. An impact idler is just below the dropping point where material falls. This is used to absorb the shock load from the material which drops from a steep angle. This helps in smooth transfer of material from the drop chute on top of the belt conveyor. A drop chute is a part of a conveying system which helps material flow from one conveyor to the another one. During the operation of a belt conveyor, lots of dust are generated nearby the dropping chute area. Thus, a duct suction line is used to suck all those materials using a suction fan and a bag filter. Thus, keeps the nearby area clean. Next, a carrying idler. A carrying idler is fixed with a frame which helps to support the belt conveyor while conveying the materials. Next is the return idler. The functions of return idler and carrying idlers are almost same, but here return idlers are used to support the empty belt part which is seen returning from the tail drum side. Next, you can see two rod-like parts on the side of the conveyor belt that is nothing but a belt sway, which is also given for the safety reason during the operation of the belt conveyor. If the belt moves in one side due to misalignment, the belt will push those rods and the belt will automatically stop when it reaches to the maximum limit. Thus prevents further damage of the belt conveyor. Now you can see that wire that is nothing but a pull cord which is also used for a safety reasons. This is used to stop the belt during emergency during the operation of the belt conveyor. The shiny part which you can see on the belt conveyor is nothing but a rivet joint. This is used to join two end parts of the belt conveyor. During the operation of the belt, the belt tends to move one side or the other. Thus, a part called self-alignment roller is used. Thus, a self-alignment roller is used to adjust slight misalignment during the operation of the belt by itself. Next is the bent pulley. You can see a bent pulley in a long length belt conveyors. Its main function is to change the direction of the belt that is from horizontal to vertical. Next is the take-up pulley. This is the 
part of the belt conveyor where you give a counterweight. Basically, there are two main functions for giving counterweight in these areas. That is, number one, to give a proper tension to the belt conveyor. And the other is to keep a reserve belt. For this, I have a detailed video in my YouTube channel about the counterweight and its adjustment for alignment purposes. For alignment purposes. So please check it out in my YouTube channel. Now, the main part is the head pulley. This is the one which drives the whole belt conveyor, which gets its power through a gearbox and a motor. Now, using a motor gearbox system, the high speed from the motor is converted to low speed with high torque for driving a belt conveyor. This is the arrangement how how a motor, a coupling and a gearbox is connected with the head drum shaft. Thus at last a low speed with high torque is obtained for driving the belt conveyor. Now the last part is called a snub pulley whose main function is to increase the arc of contact belt over head pulley for better grief and to avoid the belt slip. So my dear friends, please like and subscribe to my channel if this video was useful to you. Thank you.